Amazing. Yes, a woman has received the U.S. Medal of Honor. Meet Dr. Mary Edwards Walker, a woman with many titles, surgeon, abolitionist, suffragist, prohibitionist, prisoner of war, and the only woman to have received the U.S. Medal of Honor. Born on November 26, 1832, Mary Walker was raised in a home where thinking outside of the box wasn't commonplace, free thinking, questioning regulations and restrictions on women. Needless to say, this was certainly revolutionary for the times. For example, she kept her name after her marriage to fellow student, Albert Miller. She was highly interested in medicine and poured over her father's medical texts on anatomy and physiology as well as other medical literature. She graduated with honors from Syracuse Medical College in New York at the age of 23 in 1855. She was in private practice until the Civil War broke out in 1861. She wanted to join the Army as a surgeon but wasn't allowed to because she was a woman. Because of her credentials, she didn't want to be a nurse, either. So she volunteered as an unpaid surgeon for a number of military hospitals and battlefields for the Union Army. She was the first female surgeon to do so. On April 10, 1864, Walker was captured by Confederate troops, and arrested as a spy, just after she finished helping a Confederate doctor perform an amputation. However, she was exchanged for a Confederate surgeon just four months later. After the war, she was awarded the Medal of Honor by President Andrew Johnson even though she was a civilian. But the medal was rescinded in 1917. As with her nature, she wore the medal until she died two years later. In 1977, President Jimmy Carter restored her medal posthumously because she had gone into enemy territory to care for the suffering victims, when no man had the courage to do so, for they feared being captured and imprisoned. The Citation for Medal of Honor Whereas it appears from official reports that Dr. Mary E. Walker, a graduate of medicine, has rendered valuable service to the government, and her efforts have been earnest and untiring in a variety of ways, and that she was assigned to duty and served as an assistant surgeon in charge of female prisoners at Louisville, Guy, upon the recommendation of Major Generals Sherman and Thomas, and faithfully served as contract surgeon in the service of the United States, and has devoted herself with much patriotic zeal to the sick and wounded soldiers, both in the field and hospitals to the detriment of her own health, and has also endured hardships as a prisoner of war four months in a southern prison while acting as contract surgeon, and whereas by reason of her not being a commissioned officer in the military service, a brevet or honorary rank cannot, under existing laws, be conferred upon her, and whereas in the opinion of the President an honorable recognition of her services and sufferings should be made. It is ordered that a testimonial thereof shall be hereby made and given to the said Dr. Mary E. Walker, and that the usual Medal of Honor for Meritorious Services be given her. So thank you, Dr. Mary Edwards Walker, for representing all women in this list of 3,497 Medal of Honor recipients. recipients.